Welcome back now crew. Today I'm doing an unboxing from the Poddle. How exciting! So if you want to see what I got and the nail art look that I come up with today, then keep watching. All right, nail crew, so I have some nail mail and it is from the Poddle. So there's my PO box if you guys want to send me a letter. Oh yeah. Also, it's down below in the description box. If you guys ever just want to send me a card for my birthday or just a letter, you know, you got bored, you want to write me something, hey, PO box is in the description box. Feel free to use it and send me whatever. All right, so let's just dive into this box. I'm so excited. <laughs> when I left the post office, I was literally dancing on the way to the car. So I have a card and it says, hey, Miss Nikki, thank you for your support. Well, actually, thank you for your support because this woman has actually sponsored two of my giveaways and she's given me some bottles and I've added that to my last two really big giveaways. So <laughs> thank you, honey. Thank you. All right. So let's look and see what I got. Oh my gosh. So when I saw the box, I, I automatically thought that it was the brush and I'm going to open that last because uh, I'm... Uh, uh. I did not think it was going to be all of this. So the first thing that I have here is a container. And I think I know what this is for. So I'll show you guys in a second. But I have that in black and I have it in white. And so inside you see those little shaker beads. I think what I'm going to use one of them for is my monomer dish or my dappen dish. That's what I'm going to use because it's like heavy. It's ceramic. It's heavy. It feels like really rich and posh. So the inside lining is plastic, like a nice thick plastic material, like nothing cheap. So I think I'm going to use one for a dappen dish. Which one should I use, guys? Which one? Maybe the black one for my dappen dish and then the white one for the intended purpose. <laughs> and I'll show you what that's for in a second. And then she also sent me some brushes. Super cool, super smart. That makes sense. If you have the little puddles to switch out, you're also gonna need some brushes to switch those out as well. So let me show you guys. So here is the puddles. I don't know if you guys remember me using these, but let me open this one up. The white one I think is the first one that I had. No, 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 no. The black one was, okay. So the white one I got and I made some glow in the dark glitter green polish. And so this is what it looks like. I will link the video below on how I made this, but you see the brush? So let's say you wanted to make another color polish and that brush was already messed up or gooped up with your old polish, you would just switch it out. So here on my right hand side, that is the base for the bottle. So if you wanted to make like 12 different colors and use the same handle, you could to save money. And I thought that was very, very smart of her to do that. So I have one in white and one in black. And then I also have have two new bases one in white and one in black but like I said one of those is going to be my dappen dish absolutely hands down and then I got some glitter I didn't even know she sold glitter like I was on her website the other day and I did not see this super super cool oh my god okay so let's just open it up let's just see what it looks like wow okay oh my god I'm such a sucker for glitter guys oh my god so if you guys were making your own polish and you wanted to add glitter to it let me give you guys a close up oh my god so if you wanted to just throw in some glitter to your polish or your gel or whatever your creation you could just sprinkle a little bit of this glitter in there oh my she has really thought of everything oh my that was smart honey you know everybody likes some glitter so if you had the bottle, you would just add your gel or your polish right in there and then dump in the glitter and have a beautiful one of a kind collection for your clients. I think that would be so dope. It will really set you apart from everybody else. You know what I'm saying? And so now she also has five, like what the heck? Like literally she sells everything. <laughs> okay, so now she sells files and they are so thick and nice. Um, I'm gonna use the files today. We're gonna test these files out today. Oh my gosh, guys. So I'm gonna use the black little container from my Dappen dish today, and I'm gonna use one of these files today in a video. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet, but I'm definitely going to use that. Okay, and here is the brush. So when I saw the box, I knew that this brush was in there. I just knew it, I felt it in my heart. I was like, yes, I got a brush. Like this is what I wanted. 
everything else oh my god mind blown but this brush right here i feel like i'm gonna seem so rich and fancy you know for my clients when i'm doing their nails and i'm brushing the dust off and they get a load oh and these bristles are so soft y'all this is soft this feels like like a face thing like one of those brushes you use for your face and look at the details on the handle like a real flower oh my god this thing is so soft y'all i wish y'all could feel it through the screen this is so soft and it feels like it, it has some weight to it it definitely feels i don't know like rich and i don't want to stop touching it <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm using that in my video today for sure, for sure. And then I know she's gonna kill me, but I'm using one of these as a dappin dish. I'm sorry, I know that's not what they're for, but it feels really good and I think it'll look very pretty on my table as a dappin dish versus what I was using before, you know what I'm saying? So that'll just give me like the edge of, oh my God, I have to go get my nails done by Nikki because she's awesome and her stuff just looked really expensive, so why not? And then <laughs> for the color that I'm gonna use today, I'm either gonna use the green that I made in the white container, sorry I hit the camera, or I'm going to use this one. I screwed that thing on tight, okay, so remember this one that i made so this one is a gel polish the green one is regular polish this one is a gel polish with glitter so this is really pretty too giving you guys a close-up that is very pretty and i made this one first um but i think i want to use the glow in the dark green one just because it's bright and it's still summer so i might as well just use it while i can you know what i mean and then in another video, I will use, cause see, I have another bottle, an empty one. So I think in another video, I'm going to make some glitter polish. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet, but I'm definitely gonna use this glitter and I'll fill my bottle. So maybe I will, you know, make another post on Instagram and ask you guys to help me and you guys could decide what to put in there, but definitely it's going to include that glitter. So we'll just see how that goes. So again, I just wanna show you guys everything that I got today. Thank Thank you so much i love everything i appreciate it and i know you're gonna be mad at me because i'm using one of these containers as a dappin dish but girl girl i'm sorry <laughs> all right so i have tuesday and we're just gonna go ahead and set her up i just want to show you guys one more time how i set her up so I have the forms and I pull out the little middle piece, the little sticker, and I stick it halfway up. You see that? And I slide it right under her nail and I do that so the white sticker will stick to the bottom side of her nail and keep it in place. When I do this, they stay in place. If you don't do this, guys, your forms are gonna fall off. You're gonna be frustrated. By the time you do the pinky nail, you get to the thumbnail, the form fell off, you were frustrated, and mm, it's just not gonna work. Just do it this way and you'll be happy. All right, so now I'm gonna go in with my dehydrator and I do two coats of the dehydrator once that dries. I go in with my Mia Secret Extra Bond Primer. So when I'm practicing, I'm using my Mia Secret because it's expired, but on a real person, I would have gone in with my No Lift Nail Primer. And the No Lift Nail Primer does not come with this little pink thing. I got that on Wish for like 50 cents. And then as you can tell in the back, I already have my dappin dish filled with my Young Nails monomer. I'm not wasting any time turning this into a dappin dish. I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> I'm sorry. I saw it and right away I knew what I was gonna do. All right, so the brush that I'm using is Not Polish, size 16. I did hit them up on Instagram asking for a coupon code. They didn't even answer my message yet. So <laughs> I'ma keep trying for y'all, I'ma keep trying. And then the paper towel that I'm using is the one with that plastic backing to protect your table. So you can find the paper towel on my Amazon store. Just go to the section that says extra. Okay, so here I go with my first bead and it is kind of wet. So I'm just gonna let it sit on a brush for a little bit just to start to dry out just a little bit, not too long, otherwise, it's gonna be trash and you have to start all over. If you let the bead dry out too much, you're gonna put it on the nail and it's not gonna have any play time. You just have to find that sweet balance. So I noticed that it was way, way, way too wet to put it on the nail. Had I put it on the nail very wet, it would have dripped down the sides of the form and it would have just been a disaster. So I just let it dry a little bit on the brush, maybe like three seconds, and then I put it on the nail close to the cuticle 
I did not go into this intending to do like the one ball method, but it definitely worked because I'm doing shorter nails. Whenever I do long nails, I don't even try to make it in one bead. Like that's just not gonna work for me. But when they're short like this, hey, I mean, it worked. I even got a nice apex. Like everything on the first bead was like, boom, spot on. But okay, I'm not gonna get too excited because that's the pinky. The pinky nail is small. <laughs> it's easier to do the pinky. So let's just see how the rest of these nails fall into place. So I'm attempting with the same exact maneuver and technique that I did the first time. So I picked up a very large bead, put it on the nail bed and kind of just fixed the cuticles first. When you do a one ball method or a one bead method, you definitely wanna focus on the cuticles first because you don't want it to flood the cuticles, you don't want it to get on the skin. So while you are fixing the cuticle area, you kinda of let the rest of the nail fall down the form and then clean up the sides as you go. So this one turned out very good, but it was kinda of flat. So I just added one little bead at the stress area just so it does not break. I am making my nails or trying to make my nails about the size of a credit card because that is the standard length, textbook standard length. You want your nails to be as thick as a credit card and then you want the apex to be about twice that. So that's what I'm trying y'all. For me, that might not work because I'm very rough on my nails. So at the end of the day, you want your nails to fit the client's lifestyle. Now, Miss Nala and Tuesday, they could get away with a credit card thickness nail. <laughs> And it's also gonna save me from, you know, using up all my products. So definitely I'll make their nails thinner. If this was a real person, I would have probably made it a little bit thicker than this. So I made the nail in about one bead. I've been doing that consistently, um, not even on purpose. If I was trying, I bet if I was trying, this would have been jacked up. But because I'm not trying and I'm just going with the flow, it's coming out perfectly each time. So I mean, high five to me. Maybe I'm just excited about all the good stuff that I got today and I just really want to get to that brush. <laughs> Maybe that's it. I'm putting it on so perfectly because <laughs> I just want to get to the bottle stuff. So anyway, surprisingly, all the nails got done in one bead to build the nail, the thickness and everything. But then I used a second bead at the apex for the strength. So even though you're doing the one bead method or the one ball method, it is kind of smart to add that extra bead right at the apex just to add the strength and the structure to the nail. So that's what I did to them all. When I got to this pointer though, for some reason, I noticed that the tip was a lot thinner than a credit card. So I did go in with, with a third bead just at that tip to make it a little bit thicker. I still say that was a success because it still turned out, you know, pretty cute. It wasn't one or two beads, but hey. So now I'm just making sure that all the nails are dry by giving it the little click, 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 tap, tap, tap test. And if they're dry, they'll make a nice click sound. So at that point, you can remove your forms. And I noticed that this time I don't have a lot of like dripping along the sides like I normally get. So I'm getting better when I take my forms off. It looks like I have less filing to do. Now this file says get into it. So that's what we about to do, get into it, okay? <laughs> and right away I could tell this file is super sturdy. Do y'all see that? Okay, so you know how sometimes you use a file and it's so thin that it kind of bends? So you go to file the nail and then the file is actually bending. Oh my God, I know you guys have tried a file like that because I have several of them. Actually, I had several of them and they are now in the trash. <laughs> So this file is actually thick and sturdy. Yes, I appreciate that, guys, yo. So I don't know like how she sells them, if she sells them in, in like packs of three or 10 or 100, but I'm going to check out the site because I like the thickness and the sturdiness of these files. So I'm going to get some more. These files are pretty awesome. So for today, I think I'm gonna do some square nails. Just some regular square, no coffin, no stiletto, nothing crazy like that. Let's just do some regular square nails. And so far, I use the hand file to get the basic shape that I want. So that's what it looks like so far. 
So I'm just going to do that same thing to all of the nails and then use my DIY nail measurer and just measure all the nails to make sure that they're the same size. I'm doing this because when I eyeballed it, it looked like the pinky was longer than the rest of them. So I just wanted to see if I needed to shorten any of the nails. So I have my e-file here by Airsy. I just been using this one all the time lately. I don't know why I have a lot of really good drills but this one has been just sitting on my table for the longest and I really do like it um, I did have to shorten that pinky because when I measured them they were all at about like a three three and a half ish and the pinky was at a four <laughs> <laughs> so I shortened them down and this is what I have so far so now once you're done you want to turn the hand to face you and I don't always show this in all of my filing videos but you definitely want to look at the nails from the client view and just make sure that they look good if you have to do any touch-up filing then just grab your hand file and you know file the sides or the edges or the top and just make it look nice and even from the client view i do have a file video where i go over everything and i will link that below if you want to see it and now i get to use my brush oh my gosh it is so soft and it's so full like the bristles is just a lot of them guys it's so soft it feels like it i'm telling it feels like it should be on your face like it doesn't feel like a nail thing it feels like a face thing <laughs> and look at all the details like the flowers that's giving me an idea of a nail art the fact that this looks like a flower is giving me an idea for what I'm gonna do today so yeah yeah okay I know exactly what I'm gonna do so I'm just dusting Nala off she's dust free at this point but <laughs> I'm just being extra <laughs> I'm just being extra. All right, so because the brush was shaped like a flower, it made me think about these little flower stickers. I don't know why that's in there. Let me move that to the side. Okay, so look at these little flower stickers that I've had in my drawer forever and just always forget to use them. But I've been inspired to use these little flower stickers. So that's what we're going to do today. And I have the pottle. And let me just see. Let me show you guys one more time what it looks like. So this is my green glow in the dark polish that I made. And again, this is regular polish. It's not gel polish. So I'm going to apply that to some of the nails. No special technique, guys. You just polish the nails like you normally would. So that's what I'm doing and I'm so surprised that this was a DIY polish and it's working so good like no one would know that you're wearing something that you made and that is so cool to me. It is so cool that you can make your own polish and be totally unique. No one else out here has this shade of green with this glitter combination. Like, hello, this is an exclusive. So imagine telling your clients that like, hello, you're gonna have an exclusive color that I made just for you. Like, oh, so cool. All right, so now I wanna add on the flower stickers and I'm going to use this transfer gel. If you don't have transfer gel, do not go buy any. You could use regular glue, you could use clear nail polish, you could use whatever. So don't feel like you have to go out and purchase anything. So anyway, I went ahead and applied that to the nail just on the plain ones that I'm going to do the sticker art to. And then I cure that in the lamp for 60 seconds. Now I'm going in with my flowers. Now these are stickers. So people, they do stick. You don't need anything to make them stick. But I just like to add a little bit of more reinforcement. I don't know, it just makes me feel better that I know they're not going to come up or lift up or anything like that. So that's why I added the transfer gel, okay? So I'm just randomly placing these little stickers. I think they are so cute. I'm so upset with myself that I left them in the drawer and I didn't even think twice about them. I haven't used them in so long, but look how cute they are. Look how cute, I bet these will be pretty if I did like an acrylic overlay on top of them, like if they were embedded in the acrylic, I bet that's so cute. I might think of that in like maybe an upcoming video. If you guys wanna see that, let me know. I bet it would be so pretty. You know what I mean? While it's still summer, while we still got a little bit of summer left, do one more flower look. So I went ahead and did that to the pinky and now I'm going to do the same thing to the pointer finger. 
And literally, I'm just being random as hell. Like, I'm just putting them anywhere. And I'm purposely not trying to use the same ones because I want them to look the same but different at the same time. So now that those are on, I'm going back in on my green nails and doing the second coat. Because remember, this is regular polish. So I had to give it time to air dry. And now I'm going in with the second coat. And look how that color just pops. Look how that color pops. <laughs> Oh shoot, that was my opera voice, y'all. <laughs> oh snap. So I went in with my cheap bling and added some bling to the pinky. You see that? Oh my gosh. I added a pink stone and a green stone. So now on the pointy finger, I think I'm gonna add a pink stone, a green stone, and then maybe like a yellow one. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do because there are more big flowers on the pointer finger than it was on the pinky. So I'll do three stones on the pointer. Look at that. Oh my God, that is so cute. That is so cute. And I'm going in with my top coat. So the top coat I'm using is from Yayogi. And I don't know why I had this Yayogi top coat in my scrap pile, like in my not favorite top coats because I'm using it here and I'm like, Wait a minute, this thing is shiny, it is glossy. I might need to move you into the good pile. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so this is what the nails look like when I was all done, super cute. And then boom, when I turned off the lights, y'all. Remember I told you it was glow in the dark. So that is it. Look at Miss Tuesday on her way. I don't know where she going, but she grabs her purse, y'all, and she is out. <laughs> All right, guys, that is a wrap. I gotta go. Don't forget to stop by The Pottle on Instagram. Send her a little flower emoji. She won't know where these flowers are coming from or why. She's probably going to be overwhelmed and then probably be so upset with me, but send them to her anyway. <laughs> All right, guys, until next time. Love you so much. Bye.